Hi everyone, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables and today we're going to be making drop shadows in Google Sheets. Now, what is the purpose? What is the point of the drop shadows? It's just to make it pretty and make it more uh, easy to look at. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I created this giveaway planner and uh, it looks like a, if I go on print, so you can see the whole picture, it looks like a Canva template or something designed, you know, in a design, a graphic design platform. And what this does is it gives you, you can put in here, fit to page and you can see the whole thing. Now this gives you a more uh, pleasant template to look at, which means, at least for me in my brain, the way it works uh, is that the more pleasant it is your spreadsheet to look at, the more uh, you are going to be wanting to use it, if that makes sense. If I am looking at a spreadsheet, just numbers and, and data with no colors, no, no designs, no nothing, I get bored. My brain gets really bored really fast. So uh, I will use it once and then that spreadsheet will go to the abyss of the forgotten files will never to be open again. So uh, this is the point of doing this. And besides, who doesn't like looking at pretty things, right? So with that being said, let me move this away. And I'm gonna teach you how to do those drop shadows. And it's really simple. Uh, it's a really simple idea. Uh, but if you want to uh, do like different things, like for example, here on my spreadsheet, I have two different columns, right? So I have this part right here and then I have this part right here. And then this column is there's divide it's divided in two. So there is this drop shadow and this drop shadow. So now the trick is you're going to play and that's that's only that is. You're going to play with the um with the spacing of the rows and the columns. You see here, like row one, two, three, four, five, six, like you can barely see the row six, right? And this is how you play with your uh, layout in order to be able to do um, the drop shadow. So let's start over here. So we have a blank brand new spreadsheet and we're going to start by creating the space like the white space on the side. So resize, I'm gonna make this 20 and I'm going to make the top 20. And this is a personal preference. I like to give some space in some of my spreadsheets. Some I don't, some I do. I can't explain my process. It's just whatever my brain wants to do at that moment. So let me enter that title here. How to um, create drop shadows. Google Sheets. Okay. So now we're going to create uh, a space for the first one. So let me see the size that I have here. It is 14. So I'm going to resize column B to be 14 and column C is 100. Okay. So now the in this it, let's say okay let's back up a bit this is me trying to uh recreate my giveaway tracker right the one that i just showed you but if you just want to do just a normal simple drop shadow so you did this one uh what was it 14 and then you're going to do this one also 14. So now you have this space right here and this space right here. And what you're going to do, you are going to start from here. You're going to come all the way here, for example. And then you're going to enter a, um, something like this. Let's do, no, let's do more like this. Okay. And then, um, the one down here. It's going to be the shadow. So we're going to resize this and we're going to make it five. Oops. Let's make it five. Not too small. Control Z. Let's make eight. 
Okay. Now you are going to skip this space right here. And then here you are going to, um, how much was this one again? I forget. Eight. So now this end column here, you're going to resize and make eight as well. So now you're going to skip this space. You're going to leave this white and you're going to leave this white. And that's the whole, um, and then you're going to select this one. So you see here how I selected just like this part and I'm going to do a, a lighter shadow. So here I have this and now for you to have a better look, uh, you can remove the grid lines and now you have a drop shadow and here you can, um, you can make this larger for example and it still follows, the drop shadow will still follow. Um, so, and then this one you can merge, this one's right here. And then here you can enter your own text. And then, you know, you play around with it, with whatever you wanna do. So that is basically how you create um, a, a drop shadow. Now, if you want to copy, you just select this right here and then control C and then come over here and just control V. It copies already. You see that it copied over the, the column uh, length. So now you have those two drop shadows, right? If you want to copy under, just come over here, control C, control V and again, it copied. So you can just come and copy everything and make a bunch of them, right? Now, let's say if you want to break this down and make a different um, shadow. So um, let me remove this here. So this part, let me, uh, first let me unmerge everything. Remove all the text. Because sometimes I create the design with no end design in mind. So basically, like I created this, but now I want to uh, break this, right? I need this one. Let's just break this too. Now I need this two to be a different, like a separate thing. So I'm going to go back to this. Now you see here, I don't have that corner right here, this skinny column. So I'm gonna have to create one. So I just come over here, insert color to the left, and then resize, and let's make it eight. So now I have this. And then you put that, and then you put that. See? And now here, you see the same thing because there is no extra space here. So. We're going to have to do the same thing, insert column to the right. And this is going to be, what was it, this 14? Yeah. So then resize 14, okay. And now here, all you got to do is merge this. Yep. Oh, you merged the wrong color. Is it this color? Okay, now you see it's it added the shadow in the here. You can just control C and control V and you can keep the format. And if you want this like a smaller gap, you just come over here and do this. And I have a smaller gap in here. And then you have, you know, different things. Um, now, yeah, I think that's about it. Now in my tracker, if you go here, let me pull this back here on the side. Um, I have like, I put, for example, I wanna track the engagement, right? And I want to give a few options. So these are different, um, different uh, columns, right? So it's the same thing, but all you gotta do is just add here and adjust. So for example, insert one column to the right. Let's say I wanna make this part 
the engagement box. So I'm going to add, let's say three to the left, but then they're gonna be smaller, right? Cause I just want like small boxes, for example. And then, and you wanna make sure, like if you inserted uh, one, two, three, four, five, six columns on here. You want to make sure you have six columns on here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make them the same size. And delete here. Wait, no, something happened here. So let me see. One, two, wait, what is the size? These are 39. So let's make this so one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say seven. Your size, we can make 40. So here it's going to be um no, this one. Wait, no, this one messed up. You see here how this space is bigger? So this one has to be 14. This one can't move. Okay, um, okay, so then one, two, three, four, five, six, the size 40, and then remove one. So now this should be the same, yeah, okay, it's the same. So merge, 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 control V. There we go. Now, here. Uh, you see here how this is like one size, one size, one size, then it gets skinny, 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 one size, one size. So what you can do, get this skinny, skinny, skinny and merge them. Skinny, skinny, skinny. And now you merge. Now you have basically the same size of this. And you can, you know, because if you make different colors, let me change the colors here just so you can have an idea. If you wanted to insert, you know, the boxes or check boxes or, oh, oh, this one copy the merge. Okay. Um, there. So now you have different things. So just go ahead, play, you see, and then you can insert like maybe these ones you can have check box. Don't use those colors. Those colors look very ugly, but here, checkbox. See, now you have your checkbox and you can insert emojis, right? Um, I, I have, I'm doing this with nothing in mind. Just give, showing you what the different things that you can do with your spreadsheet, so. Just make a cute design or you can insert images. You can insert, you know, whatever it is. So let me see if I want to insert an image. Oh, let's put a shark in there. So you select the cell, select the image, click on the three dots and say, put image in selected cell. And now you have a little shark in here. So if you are conducting a what do you say like a survey or something you know select your favorite animal right and then you can click here um you can of course you can remove the the white background and make it just you know just a shark image um but just i just wanted to show you an example of things that you can you can also oops you can also insert an image directly in the cell. You don't have to do, you know, you can skip that process that I showed before. Oh, that's not an image. Let's say this one, just getting random images off my thing. See, so this one doesn't have, um, doesn't have the background, right? So this one is clear background. So if this was white, And then you have this, right? And you can change the colors, you can do whatever you want here. So just play around with this. Um, and 
Let, oh, see, this one, um, we forgot to, oh, wait, no, that's just because I didn't put the color here. Is that a messed up? No, there we go. And this is how you create drop shadows in Google Sheet. I hope this video was helpful. Please share in the Facebook group your, uh, your creations. I would love to see what you come up with. And hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.